Welcome to Take 5. Today I'll be talking about a topic that has been making headlines for the past several years, and that's the need for an open industrial control platform that is vendor and technology neutral, and therefore avoids vendor lock-in when it comes to upgrading and scaling distributed control systems. Since 2015, engineering executives from ExxonMobil have been challenging traditional automation setups that build on proprietary technology to create dependencies within the physical design. This ensures a long-term deal for the control system supplier, but makes it difficult for a manufacturer to integrate third-party hardware and software where needed, or even move to another control system platform. Having seen other industry initiatives that provide a vendor agnostic reference architecture, such as the Open Group's future airborne capability environment for avionics, ExxonMobil executives look for a way for the process industry to re replicate that model. And despite some resistance from the vendor community, in 2017, the Open Group created the Open Process Automation Forum, a consortium of end users, suppliers, system integrators, and academics, which at the time was co-chaired by ExxonMobil's Don Bartusiak. This group was focused on developing a standards-based, secure, and interoperable process control architecture that could be used across many industries including oil and gas, petrochemical, mining and metals, pulp and paper, food and beverage, and pharmaceutical segments. In 2019, the group released version 1.0 of the open process automation standard known as OPAS, which the group described as a standard of standards, emphasizing that they're not reinventing the wheel, but utilizing what's already in use for connectivity, security, and systems management. Version one addressed interoperability, and version two, released in 2020, focuses on configuration and portability. These were the first steps toward the ultimate goal of a plug and play functionality for control equipment. And in anticipation of version 3.0, which promises to deliver a usable system, another new group has just formed. It's called the Coalition of Open Process Automation, or COPA. And the group has announced the first commercial open industrial control system. Now, COPA is a partnership program started and managed by cplane.ai, a cloud infrastructure provider and collaborative systems integration, a company founded by none other than Don Bartusiak, who has since retired from ExxonMobil and is on a mission to bring his earlier vision to fruition. COPA currently has a handful of IT and OT technology partners and is expanding its ecosystem. The purpose of the group is to create a collaboration among suppliers that support the OPAS standard. A point of clarification, COPA does not compete with the Open Process Automation Forum. They are complementary organizations. And as Bartusiak noted during our interview, COPA is a first attempt at finding a way to bring a production-ready open process architecture to the market. There's a lot of learning that has to take place to build and support a secure architecture of best-in-class components. And that's where COPA's Quick Start system comes in. It's a product bundle that includes a six-module training program to help end users, system integrators, and machine builders to understand the technology, the process, and the skills required to manage an open system throughout its life cycle. The modules include designs such as the separation of I.O. and compute power, how to configure, build tags, and start up the system, how to operate and maintain the system, how to add advanced capabilities such as industrial IoT and artificial intelligence, and how to maintain a secure infrastructure, as well as how to troubleshoot the system. There are also simulated applications that users can practice on and learn how to configure control blocks and HMI displays, for example. COPA Quick Start will be available in Q3 of this year, but officials emphasize that this is meant to be a learning platform so that testing and feedback will prepare manufacturers for production-ready field trials in 2022. If you'd like to learn more about COPA Quick Start or how to join the Supplier Partnership Program, you can click on the links below for more information 